All right, the second way to bind inline styles is using the array syntax. Now the array syntax is basically a helping hand to the style object that we learned in the last video. So we saw how a style object makes the template look more clean. Now it might so happen that for a particular element, you may want to apply multiple style objects that are already created. So to apply more than one style objects, we make use of the array syntax. Let's understand with an example. Let's assume we already have two style objects. So I have created two style objects. The first one is a base style object, which has a font size and a padding. The second one is a success style object, which has a color, a background color and a border. So let's create a div tag and add both these styles using the array syntax. So over here, I'm going to create a div tag. I'm going to call this success style. Now to bind using the array syntax, we again use the vbind directive. The attribute is still going to be the style attribute. And this time we are going to assign an array of values to the style attribute. The first one is going to be the base style object. The second one is going to be the success style object. Let's save this and refresh our browser. And you can see the new div tag. And if you inspect the element, you can see that the styles from both the style objects are being applied. So font size of 50 pixels, padding of 10 pixels. This comes from base style object. And then we have a color of green, a background color of light green and a border of one pixel solid green, which comes from the success style object, color, background color and a border. So we are able to apply multiple style objects to a single HTML element. But a point to make note of with the array syntax is that the styles written in the last style object overrides the previous style objects. So for example, if we add a padding of 20 pixels, so padding of 20 pixels in the success style object, it is going to override the padding of 10 pixels in the base style objects. Let's save this, go back to our browser and refresh it. You can see that the padding is now 20 pixels, which is from the success style object. So the last style object declared in the array always gets priority when there are conflicting styles within the style objects. In this case, a padding of 10 pixels versus a padding of 20 pixels. Now just to improve on this example, we can have another style object. I'm going to call this a danger style object. It is going to have a color dark red, background color red, and a border one pixel solid dark red. And I can create a new div tag. Let's just change success to danger. So danger style object and change success style text to danger style. So if we save this, go back to the browser and refresh it, you can now see the danger style object along with the base style object that is applied to this particular div tag. And if you have a look at the code, it is kind of evident. We are able to reuse the code. And this is one of the things I love about Vue.js. It allows even inline styles to be reusable and at the same time carry some semantic meaning. You're going to really appreciate this if you have worked on some legacy code where the inline styles are just randomly thrown into the HTML and you have no clue if it is safe to remove them or not. All right, so that is about binding inline styles to your template, the object syntax and the array syntax. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video about class binding.